YouTubers, Bald Reno back with another incredible box break. Tonight we're going to bust the Topps Chrome Mega Box from Target. Unbelievably, I found three boxes at a local Target when I had given up complete hope. Last year I didn't even get a single box of this because of the scarcity of it. Uh, I used my red card or whatever, so they were $17, so I feel kind of lucky. So rather than just sell all of them immediately, I said, you know what, we'll bust some for the subscribers of the Bald Rhino channel. Because I love my subscribers. Uh, they teach me more than I teach them. And uh, I do appreciate it quite a bit. So uh, we'll see what happens here. This is, uh, I don't know, they're not going to give me much detail here. Oh, we're going to try to find 28 trading cards. Not a lot. One of one super fractors would be the draw. Obviously, uh, I've never seen a player as hot as Tatis is right now. And then um, another thing I might want to mention to you is, can you believe the popularity of the Topps Holiday? Holy moly. It is cool. So there's seven packs of cards here, four cards per pack. And you're supposed to look for autographs in one of one super fractors. And if that happens, hopefully I don't, I don't have a heart event. But we'll see what happens. Here we go. Oh, Lane Thomas, rookie. Look at the shine. Mm. Jonathan. Yasiel Puig. I don't know if that's a refractor. No. And Mitch Keller. The refractor will be right in there. It's tough to see on the black side there. All right. Pack one was a dud. Any type of numbering that you get is... Incredible. Um, very hard to get. There's the family business uh, insert that you can see right there as I open the pack. So here's a uh, I dominate the postseason Clayton Kershaw. Francisco Lindor. These are the all star game cards. Wilson Contreras, all star game card. Not a refractor. And the Cal Ripken Jr. Family business. I'll give you the business, baby. So there you go. Not too bad. Two dud packs. Try another one here. Hey, what am I complaining about? Last year I didn't find a single one. Not one. Ooh, there's the Austin Riley rookie. Nice. Eloy Jimenez, rookie debut. Those are two debut cards. The Bummer All-Star Game, and then the great Charlie Blackman. I don't know if they're... I haven't looked at the inserts or, I mean, the variations, so don't know what's a variation or not. Four packs left. Still hoping for that, I guess, flagship card that makes the box break work worth it. Zach. Hunter Pence, Brian Reynolds, rookie, and the, these are cool cards. They actually sell pretty well. The greatest players, this is the Cal Ripken. So we have kind of a Cal Ripken box, which isn't too bad. Three packs to go. I'd be also interested in what people think about whether uh, in the offseason you should be selling cards or acquiring cards because I've sold some recently for incredible prices. And um, so I, I'm not really sure. Uh, Kevin Biggi Biggio. Oh, Vladdy. That's his uh, rookie debut. Freddie Freeman. And Michael Brantley. Yeah, so not too bad one. Two packs left. We did get one Guerrero. We really needed the piece for it to be worthwhile. For sure. Another family business card here. We have the Trevor Story, who was robbed on the gold glove. Michael Chavis. Carl Yastrzemski's nephew, Mike Yastrzemski. And then Pedro Martinez. Nice. Not too bad. Last pack. 
see what happens. We have Anderson, Austin Riley, rookie, Nate Lowe, rookie, not a bad card, and uh, the guy that should be cut immediately from the Yankees, Edwin Encarcion. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate everybody.